The Rams finish the 2019 campaign with nine wins and seven losses. They do not get back to the postseason. However, they will turn their attention to what will surely be a captivating offseason. You know, not where we wanted to go, not what we were accustomed to. What you do then is is, is figure out the whys and what can we do to get better. And, and, and everything we've done is to uh, make sure we're going to continue uh, contending consistently over the uh, long term here. Welcome in Les Snead, now eight years into his tenure as general manager. Hi Les, how are you? I'm good. This is a good time to to really focus for a couple weeks on the, on the draft. We always say uh, in the draft, hey, we can bat a thousand. When we go to pick, we should definitely have a clear understanding of how and why that player can make a difference for the Rams. Les, great to see you. Um, I know it's uh, it's an intriguing, uh, busy, enjoyable time of year for you. I hope you maximize it, you and your staff. Uh, good luck in what's to come here in, in the future weeks, and thank you for yeah. devoting uh, this hour to us. I, I always learn from you. Enjoy Definitely it. try to build a, a player personnel and then football operations staff that uh, I like to call a basketball team. Each person has a what I like to say a, a skill set, superpower, something we can rely on. We have area scouts. We've kind of groomed our area scouts. I mean, we put them on the road very young. But what's allowed us to do that is we have this over the top layer and we basically simply call them over the top guys. In the OTT group, it's like each of us kind of has a different little flavor or niche, I guess you'd say. I process the, any information grades that come in. Brad Holmes, who kind of runs the, the area scouts, you've got Taylor, Teddy and Marty, who are on the road most of the time, digging out the background and the, the passion for football and stuff like that. James Gladstone, he kind of sets the agenda for everything we do, really. And Brian Zander is sort of a liaison in-house. He deals a lot with the technology. And then Ray Agnew, and he's obviously director of pro scouting, which he kind of oversees the pro, all kind of working together, to get everything done that we get done really year round. When putting together a staff is making sure that when we do fill out the, the batting lineup, uh, you know, everyone compliments each other. That's the group, that's the basketball team. Uh, always want a complimentary group. Good evening, Los Angeles. Thank you again for joining me. This was a weekend that we will never forget. One in which everything changed. This is serious. Six feet matters. There are no exceptions to that rule unless you are a first responder or a critical worker. None. There's probably an old evolutionary saying that says, you know what, the, the organisms who win in the end uh, handle, the, handle stress the best. So that's probably the first thing that I thought of is, okay, this is going to be stressful, but we got to handle the stress the best. <laughs> Les is joined, Billy. You ready to rock? We'll dive in. We have been doing some of these, I call it remote meetings using technology over the past year. So uh, we were versed in it. There's something about this guy that my gut is telling me that he may not put it all together. This guy practices his butt off. The only concern I had was the immaturity. Uh, he did lose a step at times, especially on inside breaking routes. So fourth round or not, I don't care. You know, I, I don't really want this guy. I wouldn't take him that high, but that's just me. And in those meetings, it can, I go, hey, there can be fights. Uh, there can be rational discussion. There can be certainly irrational discussion. So it's probably uh, whatever phase the, of the calendar we're into. Are there any other thoughts or questions for Michael? As Michael. His running backs. Michael, if you were a GM, would you take Acres in the second? Or would you say I'd get someone similar to Piron or Piron in the fourth? I'm taking Acres. If he's there, I, I, I would. I, I think you have to take him because he's just so much of a complete back. He, he, he'd end up being your workhorse, in my opinion. Doing the draft this way is a new experience for all of us. It's now my honor to announce that the first ever virtual NFL draft is officially open. What do you think, Les? 
What do we think? Mm. We're ready to dominate. You know what I mean? Finally time. It's finally time. There's a lot of uh, energy and adrenaline that goes into getting to that phone call. We've been talking about this player for so long, we knew we were going to do it. And then when you feel the emotion on the other end, you sit back and go, wow. Uh, one phone call basically changes the course uh, of a human being's life. Hello? Hey, Cam. Hey, sir. How you doing? I'm good. This is Les Snead, Los Angeles Rams. 2020 season will be special in that when we do kick off, It'll mean that not only is the United States, but just about every country and every continent uh, on the globe has, has overcome some adversity and ready to, to jump back on the horse and, 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 and make the world a better place.